I am Jacqueline Cruz. I'm from Brazil and I am a dating coach. Yeah, I wrote seven books about this subject. Three of them is in Amazon already. And I love like to interact with people. I love this chat. So today we are going to improvise, improvise some message. So if you are in this life right now, there is a reason for it. Maybe there is a message for you and it's going to be random. Not even I know. So if you believe in the law of attraction, if you believe that everything that happens, happens for a reason, and then you got to believe that this life is for you. And we are going to talk about a message. I don't know which one. Uh, I don't know, but the universe know, okay? I am going to be just an instrument today to deliver messages for you all. So welcome everyone. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the support. We are going to enjoy this opportunity to play a little bit with this new feature that is uh, the, the little cards that you see over there with random messages. I have no idea what it's going to appear. Now we do have one. I didn't prepare. I just like, I will go live and let's see what happened. Okay. So let's have fun and let's talk a little bit about whatever shows up in the screen. Hello, deep prayer. I'm fine. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for the likes, everyone. I really appreciate that. Okay. So let's start. What is the message that is in the screen? move forward and don't look back. And as I said, I'm a dating coach. So let's relate it with relationships, okay? With love life and with self-love. What is the message that I see that could be useful for you that's watching right now? When I read that and related to relationship about breakups, yeah about when you dream that it's gonna work you wish it's gonna work you put work on it and it doesn't unfortunately so sometimes we need to move forward and do not look back how do you do that jackie by putting your attention on the positive aspects of your experience positive aspect, but I, that was a horrible, a toxic relationship. What is the positive side of it? There is a lesson on it. You grow, you become a better version of yourself. If you can take just the teaching from that experience and uh, uh, keep in your life just the positive change that going through that sometimes sad or traumatic experience could bring to you. So sometimes you have to select all the, the bad things, all the negative aspects and let it there in the past where it belongs. And then you need to move forward. Just go for a better version of yourself, for a better life, for new opportunities, for new adventures. Yeah, very good. Let me see. Bad things happen so you can learn exactly, exactly. That says Iran. Exactly. Claudio, Claudio's in the house. Bienvenido, Claudio. Gracias a todos por, el, por los likes. Thank you so much, everyone, for the likes. All right. So let's see the next message. And again, if you are in this live right now, it's because there is a message for you. There is something you have to hear. Take it or not, analyze, think about it, and see if you can test, apply it in your life, see if it works for you, if it makes sense for you, and just give it a try. All right, deal? So stay tuned follow each other uh, in the comments, interact in the comments, send some questions, send me your opinion, participate, like, tap the screen because it helps to invite other people that maybe there is a message for them as well. All right. Now we are going to change the message. Okay, and let's see the next one. And the good thing about this is that I can share these videos with other people after. Yeah, that maybe can take advantage of uh, the message as well. Let's play the game and see. 
and see what it have. Love is near. Yeah. <laughs> Love is near. And this is the message that show up random, totally random. And we are going to talk about it. And it might have a message for you. So if you are in this life right now, it means that there is a message for you. Okay? That you should be here right now. Right moment. Love is near. Or love is close by. Oh, what does that mean? It means that a lot of people does have the love of their lives close by them, near them, and they do not do the action just to take it. And there is a lot of people that doesn't know what they want. That's why in my books, I teach people first to make a list and make sure what is it that they are in search for in a relationship, in a partner, okay? And after you know what you want, you have to perceive it. Because the universe, when you ask the universe, send me that person, send me someone like this and that and that, and you describe, you know what you want and you desire it. The universe is going to manage things to make this person to cross your life. And are you prepared? Do you know how to recognize? Do you know how to perceive? Are you in a positive vibe, in a positive energy, attracting the love of your life and prepare to notice its presence? So sometimes the love of your life, it's right there in your side and you are sad. You are negative. You are, uh, I don't know, you just have a heavy energy and you uh, repel this person or you do not notice because you are so introverted in your mind, you are so concerned, you are so grumpy and complaining about what is going wrong in your life that you do not have your mind free, you know? And you do not notice that there is someone close by, near you, and it can be the love of your life. So let's be more positive and attentive. Let's observe our environment because love might be near you. All right? Great. Let's go to a next, a next message. Yeah. Are you guys liking so far? Tell me. What do you guys think so far? Let's grab another random message. You have already met your soulmate. All right, what does that tell us? Like the previous message, sometimes your soulmate, the love of your life, it's near you. You have already met your soulmate and you are in the same position that we mentioned before. You are not perceiving it. You are not noticing it. You are not aware of your environment. So you have to first know what you want Ask for it from the deep of your soul. Trust that the universe, call it in universe, call it God, call it, I don't know, whatever you want, nature, whatever you want, energy. But you got to believe that there is an energy working to cross your path with the love of your life. Okay? And sometimes it already managed it. And you are not noticing, you are not aware, you are not paying attention on your environment. You are not paying attention on the signs uh, uh, that this person is offering to you. So the message right now that maybe it's for you that's watching this live is that you have already met your soulmate. So start to observe your environment, start to perceive, start to check it out to make sure that's the right person and start to work on making love happen. All right, this is the message for now. And let's see if we can get another random one. Yay! 
Claudio, let's get a message for you. What do you think about the idea? Let's get a message for, for Claudio. Would you like a message, Claudio? Claudio, ¿quieres que saque un mensaje para vos? ¿Tú crees en energía, en el universo? Ok, vamos a sacar un mensaje para Claudio. Esta es específica para ti, ¿eh? This is specifically for Claudio. Claudio is my moderator. It's my, my TikTok friend and it's always supporting my lives. It's always supporting my videos and I am really thankful. So now we are going to speak in Spanish a little bit, okay? After we can go back to, to English or even in Portuguese. Ah, ¿estás preparado? A ver. Tres, dos, uno. Ay, ah, repitió. Entonces ya era para ti el mensaje anterior, Claudio. <risa> y, y yo hablé en, en inglés, pero capaz que, por, que repitió el mensaje porque tengo que hablar en español, ¿no? Ah, y bueno, este mensaje dice que tú ya encontraste su media naranja, ¿no? Eh, eh, soulmate, ¿no? La combinación, eh, el alma que sería eh, tu, tu compañera, tu, tu, que, que iría a completarte a ti. Pero lo que estaba hablando es que enseño a, en mis libros que primero tienes que saber lo que quieres, ¿No? Hacer una lista de todo lo que quieres en un relacionamiento, en, eh, en tu pareja, ¿no? Entonces, cuando sabes lo que quieres, tú le envías un mensaje, puedes llamar de universo, puedes llamar de, no sé, de Dios, de energía, de Buda, llama lo que quiera, pero tienes que creer que existe una energía que trabajará para ti. Entonces, envías el mensaje de que es esto lo que quiero, Saber lo que quieres, saber pedir con el alma, ¿no? Y saber percibir cuando encuentras a esta persona. Entonces se repitió este mensaje y dice que esta persona ya fue encontrada, pero de nuevo, si no sabes que lo que quieres es alguien como esta persona, no te vas a dar cuenta, no vas a percibir, no vas a notarlo. Entonces tiene que observar en vuelta tuyo y descubrir quién es your soulmate. Okay, ¿Quién es tu media naranja que ya la conoces o lo conoces? No sé cuáles son tus preferencias sexuales. Y, pero tienes que percibir y tienes que hacer que el amor acontezca. Tienes que trabajar en eso. Tienes que agarrar la oportunidad, ¿no? Porque tú ya la conoces. Ya la encontraste. ¿Está bien? Se repitió el mensaje, Claudio. Así que era para ti que tendría que traducirlo. Muy bien, muy bien. Let's try to open up another one. And then we can record, record a message and I can post it in my YouTube channel because maybe it's a message for someone else. Let's believe that love is real. All right. Oh, there is a dog like in my head. <laughs> I'm changing the, the filters. Let's see if it gives us another one. The next, next message. Self-care is the best care. Yeah. <laughs> Relating it to dating and relationship and love. Again, I'm a dating coach and I love to talk about relationships and get people together, people that still believe in love. All right. So what this message tell us, self-care is the best care. You have to take care of yourself. You have to fall in love with yourself first. You have to be able to be happy alone in your own company, okay? When you have self-love, you shine. You shine bright. And when you are shining bright, you are freaking sexy and attractive. So it doesn't matter whoever you are, what size you are, what color of your skin, if you are old, if you are young, if doesn't matter when you are happy, when you, when you love yourself and when you take good care of yourself, the other people around you perceive it. And when you start to shine bright, because you are proud of who you are, you are in love with yourself, you are taking care of yourself. 
you start to shine and to some people that's not ready for your light, this is going to bother and it's going to blind them. But to the right people, they are going to be attracted. They are going to be curious. They are going to want to know who is this person. Do you understand? So self-care is the best care. And you cannot think about the possibility of having a relationship with someone else and uh, the possibility of having to take care of someone else if you are not able to take care of yourself first, you know? Because when you are in a relationship, there is care and th this amazing thing that it's you when you can count on someone else. It's not that you need someone to take care of you because you already take care of yourself. You are already doing it and doing a great job. It's amazing when you receive the benefit of having someone that is making your life easier, making company, and just participating of the adventure and making the adventure more enjoyable, more happy, more exciting. But you have to learn how to take care of yourself. And this is important because you are going to know if the other person is taking good care of you. If you treat yourself bad, if you say bad words for, to yourself, if you are negative, if you do not take care of your physical appearance and you are expecting that someone else come and do that, anything that this person does for you, it's going to be okay because you are, you get used to too little, you know? And what happens is that uh, you accept little things you accept accept the minimum and sometimes you keep yourself in a relationship thinking that this person is doing a lot for you and actually they are not but when you know how to take care of yourself and when you know how you like people take care of you not because you need but because it's beautiful to receive the care to to receive attention to to receive affection and then you know how you like to be treated or how you should be treated, how you deserve to be treated. And then you are not going to be okay with just, I don't know, crumbs of care, of attention, of love. You are going to know for sure what you want, what you deserve, because you know how to take care of yourself. Got it? Yay! Amazing! So self-care is the best care and you have to learn how to self-care first and then you can take care of others just to show love and to share an amazing adventure yeah very good very good so this is the message for today i hope you relate i hope you can listen to this you can analyze you can judge if it applies in your life or not if you are going to test it or not if it makes sense to you or not and i would like to invite you to believe that you are here for a reason if you are listening to this message it's because there is something in this message that was for you that's the first step believe and try it try it and come back and let me know in the comments if it was useful for your life or not i love feedbacks all right so this is all for today thank you so much and see you in the next one bye bye